Bill Phipps back at Niagara Hall where the Bridgewater women have defeated Randolph tonight, 88-76 in overtime. Coach Gene Willie joins us, victorious coach Gene Willie. And I don't know about you, Coach. I'm glad that's over. Yeah, I, I mean, it was one of those nights that, um, you know, Allison had them prepared. They played really hard. And, you know, I thought for stretches they, they outplayed us. For stretches, they, I thought they, they did They too. outplayed us. I thought they outwanted it a couple times. Um, our energy wasn't great. And, you know, I mean, you can go through some swings and work your way out of it. I really wasn't sure when that was going to start to change. And, and it really didn't until Jess Lamb hit that three that we actually – kind of started taking off a little bit it was a big three well actually i thought in the first quarter uh, first period you played unbelievably well we did we did and then we you did. got discombobulated in the second quarter yep. i thought you got careless on offense i thought you yep. were very impatient on, on yep offense. yep all of a sudden we were throwing up stuff and it's like what is that and who is shooting that and why are we doing that and so not one of our better uh offensive evenings that that's for sure well, Bree had a pretty good game, I would say. A double-double, 27 points, 13 oh, rebounds. Oh, did she really? Five assists as well. And wow. She, she was outstanding. She was. Oh, and 10 of 10 from the line, yep. I see. That's awesome. Um, yeah, she's just going to continue to get better. And, you know, the thing about Bree is she works on her game outside of practice, and you can tell that. Um, she's a member. She and the twins are uh, the three members of our 10,000 shot club and they've taken over 10,000 extra shots and made over 2,000 free throws as part of that and that shows in in something like that so you know she's just going to continue to get better and anybody that pays attention to the game can watch Bree play and know how much she loves the game she does she's very passionate about it um, takes it very seriously and you know, like I said, she she wants to get better, and she and she will get better. Cassidy's defense in the second half, I thought, really was was good too. Yeah, I mean, Rebecca Harvey just had a, a tremendous, tremendous first half. What she ended up with, um, twenty four. She had fifteen at half, and um, you know, Cass can only play defense on so many people, and we started her. You know, I mean, if we'd had three Casses out there to defend. Um, you know, that's a good thing. But she started on Abby, who um, her height has uh, typically given Abby some trouble in the past. Um, but then we didn't have anybody that could handle Rebecca. And so at halftime, it was like, well, Rebecca is the one that seems to be hurting us now. So let's put Cass on her. And, um, you know, she did a great job. And then Jess Lamb was out on Abby. Rebecca is going to be a terror. Yeah, she will. She um, she uses her left hand very well um, in the post. You'd almost think she was left-handed. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Heather Cantrell, her freshman year. Mm -hmm. um, right-handed, but very, very comfortable uh, putting it on the floor and going left as well. Kaylin in the first half came off the bench and gave you some good defensive minutes and three blocks yep. and some rebounding. She did. She did. And, um, you know, that you hope that that continues and that she grows and she develops and, you know, need her to put in a little extra time at the free throw line um, because she's going to get fouled. Um, we did not shoot well from the line again. And, you know, it almost came back to bite us. We could have sealed it there in regulation, and we missed it the second one, where on Saturday we missed the first one. And, um, you know, you just you just hope those, those kinds of things, it's just extra work, you know, by, by the individuals. And you talked about Randolph playing hard, and they did all night long. It was, it was, as you said, almost like they really wanted this ball game. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, why not, you know, come back to the coach's old school and beat her coach? I, I mean, to me, that's a, a lot of extra incentive. And, you know, they lost a heartbreaker to Shenandoah on the last second shot. Um, you look at them, they're not a 4-22 and 22 team by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, Allison's done a great job over there, and uh, I knew that she'd have them prepared, and they sure did. And we were hoping after that first quarter, if we jumped out, that they might fold, and they did not fold. Not at all. No. Yes. All right, you move not. on to Salem. We do. Emery and Henry, and, uh, you know, you got to prepare, but we've we've had some kids play a lot of minutes here. 
and uh, you know it's a good thing maybe Thursday is still a couple days away so um, you know we, we beat them in overtime here I'm sure that didn't set well with them and so we're going to have to have our hands full again on Thursday and obviously play better than we did tonight.